ESA is the European Union Network Information Security Agency. On a very high level, our main task is actually to enhance the level of network information security among our key customers, which are the EU member states and the EU institutions and bodies like the Commission, the Parliament and all the agencies. In practice, that means we work together with the established security communities in Europe actually to bring people together to establish and to enhance trust and to further facilitate information sharing among a community or between communities. But we also have, let's call it a more hands-on approach in which we address and train our most important customers, which are the National Computer Security and Incident Response Teams, the CSOCs. We actually look at the technical issues in cybersecurity and we try to advance technical skills of people, especially for incident response area. Usually we deliver like one or two days lasting training in uh, different countries. Back in 2008, we started offering the training materials as contents and then we just uploaded them. And we saw that they were becoming very popular, there was a lot of demand, and we said, let's evolve this, let's start making actual training sessions based on the resources that we have. Basically, if a member state needs the skills to, to improve, to advance, they call ANISA and ask for trainings to be provided to them. So basically then our trainers go to the specific country and train these people. So in our team at ENISA, we have experts from different areas. I have a person who is perfect in uh, memory forensics, for example. I have another one that is very good in malware analysis. And we can continue. So it's really a combination of skills and personalities that can deliver training that is tailored to the need. Our trainings always have a look to the future, so we try to cover all eventualities that might happen, starting from smart devices that you have in, the, in your home and ending with the high data throughput devices that you might encounter in the ISP's offices or ISP's data centers. So the training sessions that we offer are usually split in two sections. We have the theoretical part, and then we have the hands-on session. Uh, we have technical people in our training, so um, they enjoy the hands-on part quite a, lot, quite a lot. But it's also about soft skills. So how you communicate certain issues, if you need to escalate a certain problem, you need to know how to do it. We customize our trainings, so that means that uh, we send people to, uh, to trainings with different uh, skill sets. We can go everywhere in the EU. There's a local host who provides the logistics of the place and then we provide everything else, the hardware, the course material and the trainers. Lots of work goes into preparing the materials. We also usually modify those materials uh, according to each specific audience at the trainings. The more hands-on there are, the best the training system usually is. So we have, uh, we're using Linux, we're using Windows, we're using uh, a lot of different tools that you would see in operational activities. How do you actually do malware analysis and how to actually do network forensics. We have a prepared environment, so all the things you need to do is to come on site, put up your computer, uh, load the virtual image and off you go with it. From law enforcement, certs, banking sector, university, very wide variety of trainees. Partners, industry, governments, academia in member states to actually outreach much more and get people from different, different sectors and areas to be aware of our trainings. We also constantly improve our materials, so, um, especially in our topics that we deal with. For example, mobile. Mobile changes from one year to another, so you cannot expect the training to be the same this year to next year. Because the demand is very high for our trainings, we see that this approach where our ENISA experts could go and deliver training is not really scalable. So that's why we introduce the Train the Trainers program. We are developing a system to empower the society with more trainers that can deliver more trainings in Europe. So in the end, we try to prepare Europe for incident response. It is always most efficient to train in the native language of the training audience. Therefore, we are always looking for the trainers and welcoming the trainers to deliver our material and we are providing assistance on how to do it. We are supporting them with the material, the technical contents and also the means of delivery. Well, it's more of an information sharing session. It's, uh, it's not us teaching them, it's usually us teaching each other. We've got great 
trainers uh, who are really involved in what they do. We have a lot of good feedback. Um, we train up to 200 students every year um, in all the countries around Europe. We also give opportunity for participants, you know, to meet more people, peers, make a new contacts, discuss topics that interest them via this network. The training session doesn't end with the training itself. We're always there, always after the training, whenever they have problems or wherever they need further advice, we're there. It's bringing together uh, different uh, communities, sharing back best practices. Cyber criminals share more information than the good guys uh, fighting them. So this is something that really has to change. You feel part of the community, you feel that you can help other people along, you kind of connect them, give them some information from your lecture. The things I enjoy the most is when you see the audience have a aha moment, when a complicated topic just suddenly clicks and they sail through it. They often tell us, we would like to have more trainings, we would like to have longer trainings, for example, we give them one day and they say, okay, next time maybe we do three, four, five days. So for us that's a good indication that they enjoy the training, they learned and they want to learn more. The brilliant idea about our trainings is that it's the available online on our website. We have books for trainers, we have books for students, and we have also the virtual images. So you don't need to set up any infrastructure behind, you just take it, download, and train according to the guidelines that is provided. For more information, please check our freely available material on our website.